But thankfully, Alan saw the Rings of Power series finale. Let me get this set up. And I have not seen it, so I'll have some more thoughts next week. But Alan, wait, wait. I, I thought I had it set. Wait, somebody switched it. No. We got to go here. Which one? <laughs> Let me do it. Yeah. Here. Just a no. minute. <laughs> there we go. Alan, you did see the Rings of Power <sighs> series finale. And I just want course, to hear your... And of course, you didn't see it. So I'm... You know, I was so busy. Uh... Yeah. Man, traveling. Um, we'll, we'll talk about Andor, She-Hulk, and whatnot momentarily. But and, and I'll, I'll tell you my thoughts on Rings of Power next week. Yeah. But but what did you think of the series finale? I, I'm Rings just I'm, uh, I'm the best thing about it is it's over. At least this this season's over. Um, you know, this is the thing about me watching this show. I mean, Gary has his take because he understands the lore. He understands. The story, he understands Tolkien and all that stuff. I'm just a guy who's watching the show and, and really loved the original series. Um, but uh, I just cannot believe um, this show is made. This the the show, the entire show series misguided from, from the get-go. And I, I think um I think I will say this, unlike She-Hulk, uh, you know, it just it stayed consistently bad. Um and uh, it, you know, it ended in a way that, that, uh, you know, wh why, why do I need to continue? Why do I want to continue? I mean, they, they do that thing that you have to do at every, at the end of a season and just load it with, um, load it with cliffhangers. And so now, now we get an idea of who Sauron is and, you know, Gary called that a long time ago. Um, you know, the, the. You know the the I, I I appreciated the little twist with the stranger, but you know it, too little, too late. Um, and you know I I just I struggle so much to have something positive to say about it. I struggle to have anything really interesting to say about it. It, it was just it's just one of these series that exists. And and I'll tell you the main reason why um, this show fails from a from a casual viewer standpoint. It's all about narrative. You know, it, the story is about good versus evil. You have the good guys doing things and the bad guys doing things, and and you you bring in interesting moments where they can fight each other, and then you uh, bring in interesting subplots and, and stuff like that. They couldn't even do that well, and um, then there's you know there's no subtext as you like to mention all the time. Um, you know the original. Lord of the Rings, the, the the Peter Jackson series, it was all about the nature of evil and and how power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Um, you know, and it, it, you don't get that here. It's just good people versus bad people. And um, and now it looks like we have the Infinity Stones. They've been introduced into the Rings of Power. Um, and and they, they really tried hard to say, hey, look, we're, we're now referencing the uh the future the uh the elves have their rings and now you know i don't care and and the, the worst thing about these rings is they look so cheap uh there's nothing spectacular about them and again i'll reference the infinity stones they're they're essentially the infinity stones and um and as of now i could just i could care less and i know when season two comes out if it ever comes out we're going to be covering it and 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 i just don't see any hope for for the future of the series absolutely not oh you're muted i was gonna say i'm only mildly curious about this but like <laughs> yeah. so so could, could you okay so we're in spoiler territory yeah. right now we're gonna we're we're absolutely in spoiler territory at this moment <laughs> okay so there you go uh <laughs> you, are you ready <laughs> yeah let's okay so wait, I, I gotta fix one thing. While yeah, we're, we're sorry for all the for all our viewers who uh, who are gonna get this show spoiled. I, I don't know that the, I don't know that people care. Like, do yeah, they, I, I absolutely know people don't care. Okay, cool. All right, so tell us the spoiler. Here's what I want to know. Um, so who I mean, I think I gave all the spoilers, didn't I? Uh, uh, you know. But you need to be you danced around it. Look, Hallbrand is Sauron, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, well, I don't understand. understand. If he was Sauron, this is, doesn't make sense to me. If well, he was Sauron the whole time, like, what was he doing playing this game? If he's Sauron, like... Yeah, they, they do get into that. They, they they do some of the flashbacks, which, which quite frankly, was, was not so... You know, it was like, okay. You know, it, it's not Sixth Sense in any way. It was just, we went back, here are these moments I said this, did that, did this. You know, and, and I, I, I just learn to not care about this series so much you know I, I think for it to have made an impact you had to be watching the series closely and embracing all the words being said and um and it just didn't earn it didn't earn the sixth sense kind of uh reveal so they sort of so they go back and they show like these are moments where he was evil or yeah. making a choice and then it's like hallbrand is sorry but what was he doing on that raft yeah exactly you know I don't know. None of it makes sense. Like yeah, to me, it's just like I'm sure. Stuff. Okay, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was said somewhere why he was on the raft. I missed now, it, and, and I didn't want to bother going back and figuring it out. Did all the Harfoots get brutally murdered? And I'm very sad if that happened. Not really. <laughs> no, no. In fact, uh, it, it, you know the old trope of uh, you think one of them's dead, and they're not. I mean, so did did they kill off any major characters? Uh. No, no, they are the ones who died died in the uh, in the volcano, right? If, okay. if they in fact died, all right, okay. And then, so the stranger who fell from the sky is what? Well, it's still open to be Gandalf. It's oh, so what is he? Yeah, well, so in the show, um, it's it's alluded the these you know these uh non binary spirits who are investigating it. Um, they proclaim they they uh, basically say that he's Sauron. They believe he's Sauron, and okay. then but but then there's goodness within him, which which leads them now to believe that or realize that he is not Sauron, and that they need to keep looking. And then I, I, he has to go. He has to go on a journey, and then Nori Nori is the only Harfoot uh, who is who is worthy enough to accompany him. On, on this journey that will take place in the next season. All right. So then where, where is Galadriel in all this? They, well, so she's, she's, everyone's finally back together again. So um, Galadriel and all the elves, they're all together, Caleb, Brimbor. And, um, and what ultimately they do, so I may not have this 100% right, but I think they, uh, they melt down all their weapons. They, they have that one piece of mithril. They blend it all together, and that's how the rings are created. The elven elven rings. So they're creating the rings at the end of the show. Yep. And just as a like, like I'm I'm a normie when it comes to this stuff, and I I know Me you too. are as well. Okay. So did you care? No. No. I. <laughs> I mean, I had honestly, you know, I mentioned it before. I I didn't care going into it. Um, I remember I, we were in the theaters watching the first two episodes. And after that first episode, I was like, do I really have to see the second one? Uh, <laughs> I was, and then, and then you just see how horribly it, it's the show's amateur hour in terms of creating a, a fantasy series and creating a, a real series. I, I think, uh, I think I remember watching clownfish TV talk about how these guys who did it, they, they were, Writers who've been in the industry for a long time but never had a hit, right, and yeah. uh, and you can see why, you know, and and it's just like you know, I I think the, the biggest sin of the series is the dialogue. It's mm. this it's this incessant need to feel like the words mean something more than they do, and that that the dialogue is is some uh, you know it's like they're writing the Bible so to speak. They're they're trying to say profound things in ways that are not profound. And and are forced for that matter. They they they're trying to be profound for the sake of trying to feel for profound, and it's just not working at all. The, the, yeah, no, that dialogue is like leaden. It's just it's so mm -hmm. insufferably long. So yeah. let's get to the. They're making they're making allusions and metaphors that just are not powerful in any way. Have no impact, and and again, just feels forced. Like they that that's their assignment make this dialogue feel flowery and and we we're my daughter and i were watching t two towers the dialogue in two towers is just normal it's just normal english you know go this way go that way you know they're they're not they're not trying to do what they're doing in the series